Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at Breakdance's column element. The column element is the element that goes inside of the columns element. So if we drop in a columns element and choose to have two columns, each one of these containers is a column. The column element mostly has the same controls you'd expect on any container. For example, we can go to the layout section and adjust the alignment of any child elements. We can also set everything inside the container to align horizontally, and we can control the gap between the child elements inside of this column. We can go to the background section to add a background image or gradient, or we can simply add a background color. We also have the option to add a gradient animation, overlay, and transition duration. Under the size section, we can control the width of the column. Since this column is inside a columns container, if we change the width, you'll notice that the other columns just adapt. If we duplicate this column, now everything just goes back to being equally spaced. So while you can adjust the individual width of the columns, it's best to let the columns element do its calculations. We can also set the minimum height of the column. Moving on, we have the order section, which actually allows us to determine where in the columns element this column will appear. If we set it to zero, no change. If we set it to one, it moves to the end. If we set it to two, again, it moves to the end. So if we set something like one and then set this column to zero and this column to two, you can see that now our column with one is in the middle. Under the text color section, we have the ability to determine the color for our headings, text, links, and a brand color. Next up, we have the border section, which allows us to determine the border radius and border styling for the column itself. Let's go ahead and clear that out. And finally, we have the spacing section, which allows us to determine the padding for this individual column. Again, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and that's a quick look at the column element in Breakdance. Thanks for watching.